guys welcome to Rec portal and in this video i'm going to show you how to install samsung galaxy a5 rom in your samsung galaxy j7 so for this you must have a custom recovery installed and if you don't know how to install it you can check out my video the links are given in the description and after that just download this file it is around 700 mb the links are given in the description below you have to download this file this a5 2016 port let me show you its details here you can see that it is around 710 mb and just download this so without any further ado let's get started so first we power off our device and boot in dwrp mode by pressing this volume up power and home key simultaneously for about 4 to 5 seconds And here we are in our TWRP. So let me load my brightness first. So now click on this pipe and now advanced pipe and click on this system data cache and LV cache. Don't touch internal storage, just swipe to wipe. Now go back and now click on install. Locate the file where you have stored it. I have my file in my internal SD card here is the file a5 2016 for port by Sergio tutors just swipe to confirm flash it will take time so let's just wait I am skipping that part so here our installing is completed so just reboot the system So here we are with the here you can see that only one sim is working second sim is not working so here we are with the a5 rom for samsung galaxy j7 so let me show you here you can see this galaxy a5 2016 but I am currently using Samsung Galaxy J7 it is perfectly working on all the models of Samsung Galaxy J7 you can see this only Airtel SIM is working my Vodafone SIM is not working here the interface is changed the icons has changed let's check the camera camera is also working fine here we have in modes we have the night mode download hdr continuous auto pro focus so let's check how much space we have here we have around 5.83 gb here you can see this so let's check how much memory is available Here we have around 342 MB is available out of 1.3 GB free. In settings we have lots of new options like NFC in payment but it will not work in this motion and gestures, privacy and safety. Here we have this S Finder quick connect. It is very touch responsive and it I think it's not lagging you can see its performance is very good so that's all with this video and if you have any queries related to this video you can comment in the comment box I will reply as soon as possible thank you